In the last episode about Black Street, I completely forgot to mention one other restriction I gave myself for Bops from the Basement. When I was starting up this series, I said to myself that I wasn't going to cover any non English albums and that I would leave Ex Hugo music for Winds of the East. Then, as I went along, as you all know, those of you who have been following the playlist from the beginning, I ended up bending my rules a little bit. And I included Santana, Nelly Furtado, but in all fairness, those are Spanglish albums. And now I'm thinking, you know what? Since I'm going to be doing these more impromptu podcast type videos, I might as well mix things up a little bit. So this time I'll be discussing Romstein and their 1997 album Sensucht. This is an industrial metal band. Now, even though the genre technically got its start in the 70s, it was primarily popular in the late 80s and throughout the 90s. In North America, its popularity was waning, but it still has quite a bit of success elsewhere in the world, especially given that it intercepts a lot, a lot more than you think, with house music. And you know how much we Europeans especially love our house music. Before I even found out that we had this CD in our house, I actually first learned about Romstein through my friends back home in Montenegro. And Duhast was the big hit of theirs. I knew about it. We were blasting it in the car wherever we were driving at night. It was a lot of fun. And of course, I would eventually learn about some of their other songs in later albums. So it was really interesting to actually sit down and listen to this album from start to finish. And I have to say, even listening to it now brings me back to that time and even earlier in the 2000s when this sort of music had a bit of a resurgence in the sense, I guess from the perspective of a North American, through popular media at the time, some of it still being culturally relevant, like Death Note, Devil May Cry, Sonic Adventure 2, and Prince of Persia, Warrior Within. So for me, especially since industrial music does have that catchiness, that groove to it, it's really enjoyable musically. Obviously, I am not a German speaker, so I understand virtually none of the lyrics. My understanding, though, is that while some of the songs I can definitely appreciate for their gothic imagery and sentimentality, some of the others, and I am going to offer a trigger warning here, are controversial for implying incest and some misogyny. Now, I'm not sure if that's truly the case because on the other hand, I get that there could be other interpretations of some of the words. I even have seen the argument that one of the songs, I forget which one it was, If you know which one I'm talking about, please let me know in the comments below. That talks about a girl's uh, body dysmorphia. And you know what? I do think that it would be interesting if that were the case, getting a girl's perspective in a male-dominated genre. Otherwise... It's kind of hard for me to go back and listen to some of these songs knowing that not only 
are they not necessarily for me, but they're also kind of speaking against me. So that's the worst case scenario. I hope that that's not the case. Again, if you are a big fan of this band and bonus points if you are German or if you have any sort of command of the language, please do educate me in the comments. Thank you very much. My other issue with a lot of these songs actually is that the lyrics do get really repetitive as in a few phrases will get repeated over and over again and I'm noticing this is more so toward the tail end of these songs. I feel like more could have been done here or at the very least just cut off these songs after a few repetitions because I understand putting emphasis on certain phrases and clearly these phrases were chosen for a reason. They bear some sort of significance thematically, I imagine at least. It's stronger and more poetic in that regard, but I also realize with some of my critiques that I may not be looking at all of this as intended. After all, this genre is a far cry from something like New Jack Swing, where the tone, the lyrical content, the mood is much lighter. And a lot of the time, those songs are catering toward a woman's preferences and perspective, explicitly, at least, because while New Jack Swing is a lot of fun to listen to, the lyrics are not necessarily going to be incredibly complex. Whereas a band like this is focusing more on topics that you wouldn't hear being addressed in the mainstream. And a lot of the time, it is going to be maybe not problematic necessarily, but more intense, more unsettling, the sort of thing that we wouldn't always be prepared to even hear about, let alone address. So I definitely respect this group for that. And look, even if you're not a German speaker, if you're someone who enjoys this sound, I would readily recommend the album purely for that reason, just to enjoy that groovier and harder and really just super thrilling vibe. And everything else, you sort of just have to take it as you will. For what it's worth, I still very much enjoy revisiting this band from time to time. Not necessarily this album, but definitely some of their other songs. And I would still very much be interested in exploring more of their discography. My understanding is they produce some music in recent years. I know I'm going to be checking it out and I hope you will too. I'd love to discuss it. Thanks so much for listening. I'm really excited to move on to the next episode and get all the way up to my last two scripted entries. I hope you've been enjoying this so far. Let me know how you're feeling about this format so far and if there's anything I could do to improve it. And I'll tune back in for the next one.